Good day everyone. Today we have a Super 55 Ugly Drum Smoker Kit for all you DIYers out there. Let's take a quick look. Alright, so everything you need in the kit is right here. We're going to be putting this together and this is what it looks like when it's done. Let's take a quick look at the inside. Charcoal basket. Heat shield. Air intakes, handles, intakes on the other side, everything you need for an ugly drum smoker. Roll bar, steel grill grate, and diverter in the bottom. Good day to everyone. This is Nakia White, Red, White, and Brew Barbecue. Um, today we're going to be putting together an exciting Super 55 drum kit. Uh, for all those people out there that like doing their own projects, putting together their own smokers, this is a DIY drum kit for UDS or Ugly Drum Smokers. Um, this is When you order a Super 55, you can order them from your local barbecue store or just give me a call or an email and I'll set you up. If your barbecue store doesn't have one, please let me know and we'll make sure you get some. Uh, let me go over some of the components that are going to be in the kit. Uh, obviously this is going to come in a large, larger box and then this is an inside box. Uh, these are your intakes. Is the charcoal basket which we'll put together as well. It has the bottom, raised grates, as well as the charcoal basket itself. You have your rack, you have your heat deflector, right here you have the heat deflector. And then to make sure that the heat doesn't mess up the side of the drum, they give you a four piece, and we're going to put it together, a four piece heat deflector that goes around the inside of your drum just to stop the fire from warping or messing up the paint on your drum. Let's check out what we have inside the box. You're going to get instructions, Super 55. Comes with all your pieces and parts. We'll go over that as well. Okay. Comes with a template. We'll unroll it here in a minute. You'll see it. Comes with a template inside of it. You're going to put one sheet of paper around your drum, and then you're going to put another piece of paper, template piece of paper, on the top of your drum, the lid of your drum. We also have a thermometer. We have the intake vents. This is how you would choke down or open up your intake. Your chimney stack. Uh, handles. Charcoal basket handle. Oops. Excuse me. The lid handle, right? So this will be for your lid. Spring handle so that you know if the metal gets hot, the springs don't get hot, you don't burn your hands. It actually, this drum kit actually comes with a hinged lid. I love this part. I love this part piece. And all of the nuts and screws labeled that you would need to put the kit together. Stick around as we get started putting together the Super 55 drum kit. So one of the first things in our instructions is to drill the holes in the drum for our intake. Those will be the two inch holes that will be at the bottom of the drum as well as putting together the intake. We will show you that in a minute. We are going to fast forward and we are going to put together the charcoal basket as well as the windshield or heat plate. Let's start that now. Inside of your kit come several plastic bags located uh, in your boxes with numbers. This is part number three, part number four, and how many components of each. So these are just screws and nuts. So what you're going to do for the charcoal basket is this is upside down. I'm going to set this on the ground and notice that two of the sides have two holes. Two opposing sides have two holes each while the rest only have a single hole. I'm going to set that this way. 
These are my two holes. Okay. Notice I have a lip on this side. I'm going to put the two lips on the inside, the two lips on the inside. Line these holes up. And simply screw in every hole that you see. So we'll have two on this side, one here, two on the back side and the top, two in the bottom, and then one on each leg from there on out. And that would put that together. Next, we would take the grill tray itself, or excuse me, the charcoal tray itself. That fits in at the bottom, and that creates enough air for air to go underneath, charcoal to sit up here, air creates a better fire. All right, so now that we've put together the charcoal basket using screws three and four, got the tray, got the charcoal basket and the handle put together, we're now going to put together the heat plate or the heat, the heat plate or the heat shield that goes on the inside of the drum protecting the walls of your drum. What I'd like to do is I'm going to take these four pieces, line them up, Now that we have everything lined up, we're going to snap three holes, three screws, excuse me, three screws and nuts into each of these sides, creating your heat shield. Now that we have our charcoal basket and our heat shield screwed together, let's look at some of the parts and tools that we'll need to drill into our drum to put every, start putting everything together. Over here, I have a two inch hole saw that you're going to need. This is for the exhaust and the intake. I used a 1 8 bit, 1 8 inch bit to start a pilot hole, but the other two bits that you're going to need is a 1 quarter and a 7 32nd drill bit for each of your holes. Pretty much, that's all you need, and a drill gun, of course. So, let's start taking these components, our intakes, and let's start making a drum. In this next section of the video, you lay down a template. You tape a template to the side of your drum and you tape a template to the top of the lid. All right? Now, I'm gonna show you some of the things that got me and I hope that it's gonna go smoother for you. So normally you would take this template and start from the bottom and then tape it up at the top permanently until you're done with your kit. So, this hole right here is for your air intake hole. It's gonna go two or three inches off of the bottom, the bottom lip of your drum. And what I did was I just took a pilot hole and marked, you can't see it, but I took a pilot hole and I marked where I'm going to put my two inch hole right here. These holes I've also pre-popped or pre-drilled with the one eight, trying to give me a little pilot hole action going on. And then what I did was I just took this and taped it back at the top. So you're missing that part but it'll all make sense in a minute. Uh, one of the things that I did was if I took this drum, this drum has a seam on the back side of it, and I took this line and a line underneath it that you can't see, and I lined it up with that seam so that everything has a reference point. The next thing I'll do as you'll notice I have an A right here and a perforated line right here. So I want to take that A and that perforated line and line it up with that seam pretty accurately. Okay, so now I have a line coming up here and then I have the line going back here. Alright, so some of the things you missed was there's a letter A here that we spoke about earlier, and I like making sure that this perforated line on the lid is lined up with it. I drilled it, drilled the hole for the chimney stack. I also drilled a couple of pilot holes, 
all through the template. It doesn't matter, it's a one-time use. You get a template with each kit, so even if you order a second drum, you'll get a second template. Uh, I'm fixing to tear this off, and I'm fixing to start fastening the lid together, followed by the intake and the hinges. All right, the drum's coming along nicely. I've taken the template off of the top. I got my handle screwed on, my chimney screwed on, and next will be my hinge section. I wanted to give you a couple of close-ups. This is the letter A that I was speaking of. And then on the letter A, you also had a perforated line that ran all the way across. All right, just use your imagination. Come around to this side. And one of the things that I did not catch at first, and I want to make sure that y'all all get it before you start making holes in your drum, is that follow this arch. Make sure it lines up with the ring if you have one. But more importantly, see the two edges of the handle? You want the two edges of the handle to be in the middle of your thermometer probe because if it's kicked off to the side, you will notice it forever. So it may not look centered. For the most part, it is pretty centered. Um, another tip I'd like to give you is go ahead and start making, after you finish your pilot holes, walk around and make sure you have each of your quarter inch holes drilled. These are gonna be my handles over here, my quarter inch for my grill rack, and then of course I have four of those. I have another hole for a grill rack, another hole for a grill rack, and then of course another hole for a grill rack on the other side. Because once you remove this template, again, it's, it's a one-time use. Your template's gonna be gone, so make sure you walk around once or twice, making sure that you have all the holes that you need drilled. All right, so the, here's the completed view of the drum. Thank goodness the sun came out. It only took about two hours, but I wanted to give you a compute, completed view. Here's your heat shield and your charcoal basket. How easy it is to put in the heat diverter. It is adjustable. And lastly, here's a good look of your grill or your rack. Hope y'all enjoy. Go out and go find you a Super 55 drum kit. Start putting together your drum today. Thanks and God bless.